Hello everyone. So today we will discuss one more property of a lubricant. Before that, again I need to remind you all that what is lubricant? That particular chemical which we are going to use in order to reduce the friction between the two metallic surfaces. So in the properties of lubricating oil, that is we are talking about liquid oils, uh, we are going to discuss the property called flash and fire point. Flash point as you can see the definition here, it is our temperature. So it is the lowest temperature, the temperature first time when we observe that the lubricating oil is giving you flash of light. So here it is written that the lowest temperature at which the oil gives you enough vapors which gives momentary flash of light when a small flame is brought near it. So you have to produce a flame near the uh, oil and you have to heat the oil and when the vapors comes out of the oil we have to see the nature of the uh, vapors are they ignitable are they going to give you flash of light the moment you got a flash of light a spark of light you have to note the temperature as flash point on the other hand the fire point is the temperature at which those vapors burn continuously for at least 5 seconds and obviously don't forget that a source of flame has to be brought near it. It is the nature of the vapor in presence of source of flame. It is not going to give spark on its own. You have to see its nature when you are using it in the machine and somehow there is a source of flame near the machine. Then what is the behavior of that lubricating oil? If it is going to give you the vapors at that temperature and the vapors are ignitable enough, it will catch a flash of light and that temperature is flash point. And now when it gives a flash and it gives continuously flash when the temperature gets increased. So at certain temperature you will observe that now it is not a flash, it is continuously stable up to 5 seconds and that spark you may call it as a fire. So fire point is that temperature. Obviously we need to define what is fire, right? So that is the definition that when the spark is visible up to 5 seconds, you will call that it is a fire and then you will note the temperature. There are certain uh, apparatuses which you can use in order to find out those temperatures. Pensky Martin is one of the apparatus. The other apparatuses are Cleveland's apparatus and Abel's apparatus. So three apparatuses are available to find out that uh, flash and fire point. And at the same time there are two methods to find out that. Closed method and open cup method. Cleveland's is an open cup apparatus. Penske Martin is a closed cup apparatus. In the left, if you can see the diagram is of Penske Martin. I will discuss both of the methods in detail one by one. First open cup method is obviously this cup is open to the atmosphere and you are just heating the oil and you are finding out what is the nature of the vapor here. So let us see. Open cup method is that which is open to the atmosphere. So you have to take the oil in a cup which is not covering with a lid. While in the closed cup you have to cover it with a lid. So obviously in the open cup the readings are not reproducible because if uh, it changes with the temperature, right? If I do uh, that experiment in morning, I may get different readings. At the same time in the evening or in the noon, you are going to get different readings. Because since the cup is open to the atmosphere, the atmospheric conditions are going to affect your readings. While what happens in closed cup, it is closed. So there is a lid. So the readings, whenever you calculate, they are going to be almost same. And if you are going to get the same reading, you will call that the reading are reproducible. Reproducible means whenever you repeat the experiment, you get almost similar readings. It consists of diesel as lubricating oil, Cleveland apparatus, kerosene oil. So first of all, we light the test flame and heat it at a rate such that the temperature indicated by the thermometer increases by 5 degrees Celsius to 6 degrees Celsius per minute. We keep adding kerosene to the test flame as fuel. After few minutes, the flash point is observed and we record this temperature. Keep heating 
beyond flash point till fire is observed for at least 5 seconds and with record so this is fire point we can easily see so the observations are here now coming to the closed cup method in the previous video you saw that there was no lid at the top while here you can see that this oil cup is having a lid so this is a closed cup method now whenever you see a closed cup method you have to fill the oil in uh, this cup till this oil level point and you have to cover it with a lid now the lid is actually having three four holes in the first you a stirrer is kept now here you can see a stirrer is there and it is these are the stirrer blades so if you just move it like this these blades are going to move inside so we need to continuously stir this oil in order to get a uniform heating obviously a thermometer is required because we need to know the temperature the third hole is for a shutter control here it is a shutter control and then here is a opening so as soon as you move this shutter control like this in a clockwise direction you will see that there is an opening when it is opened the oil vapors go out of the chamber and now here you have placed a test flame burner because obviously you need to provide a source flame near it the source of flame is this you have to lit a kerosene lamp here now what happens is let's say the temperature rises to 50 degree and i want to check whether the flash point is arrived or not so what i'll do as soon as i see a 50 degree here i'll move the shutter control when i move the shutter control this opening opens and the vapors of the oil start going up and they come out now here they come in contact with the test flame burner and now here you have to observe what is happening if nothing happens you just close the shutter control and that's it start rising the temperature again now let's say the temperature rises to 55 and if i move the shutter control the opening opens and i'll see the oil coming out vapor sorry vapor coming out now you have to see the nature of the vapor here and this time you observe a spark a flash and this temperature is flash point so note the temperature now you keep on increasing the temperature after 2 3 degree rise you just have to cross check let's say the temperature has raised to 70 now flash point is reached so every temperature this is going to give you flash of light i have to confirm whether that flash is fire or not so this time let's say at 70 degree i just move the shutter control the opening opens the vapors go outside and they come in contact with test flame now this time you will observe that the flash is coming continuously for 5 seconds and then you may call it as a fire so this is an alarming situation where the lubricating oil is having a fire point means at that temperature it may catch fire if a source of flame is brought near it so let us see now the working of a closed cup atmosphere let's see the working of a pensky martin apparatus To fix the apparatus back in its position, the container should be adjusted according to the grooves. Also, the upper lid can also be fixed by the grooves provided. Insert the thermometer in the lid. The working of the stirrer is shown in the video. Also, the openings for the flame are shown. Now, add adequate amount of kerosene in the vessel provided for the same. Using a fire source, ignite the kerosene as shown in the video. Start the heater. Continuously stir the lubricant and keep noticing the liquid temperature after every 2 degree Celsius change in the temperature. Stirring of the liquid is done so as to uniformly heat the lubricant.
and as the temperature of lubricant rises, rotate the lid using the handle to check if the flash point is achieved. If not, continue the experiment and keep repeating the bow process after every 2 degrees Celsius change in the temperature. Temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius. The temperature has rise up to 48 degrees Celsius, but still no sign of a flash. Temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. The temperature being 57 degrees Celsius. Temperature is 62 degrees Celsius. If the amount of kerosene decreases, you can add the same again. Now the temperature is 68 degrees Celsius. You can notice the flash point achieved in this temperature range. When the flash point is achieved, the lubricant gives out a flash as shown previously. After the flash point is achieved, you will keep noticing flashes when you open the lid. Keep increasing the temperature. Also, if the temperature increases beyond a certain range, you can see the fire point. The fire point is a temperature at which the flame tanks for exa exactly 5 or more seconds. Keep in mind that for the fire point, the fire should last at least 5 seconds. For this temperature, we have achieved fire point. Okay, now let us see the significance. Like uh, you have calculated flash point and fire point. Now, what is the significance? What is the importance of finding out uh, the uh, points? So, basically, in using in any of the machine, we need to first cross check. If there is kind of a machine, let's say transformer is there and you have not calculated the flash and fire point. Now the uh, transformer, let's say, is working at uh, maybe 80 degree or so, right? And at the same time, the flash point of the oil which you have used is 75 degree. So what happens is at that 80 degree, if any source of flame is brought near transformer, your oil which is having flash point of 75 may catch that and uh, may give you flash of light at that temperature and that spark is obviously dangerous for the machine so we need to note that uh, for a good lubricant the flash and fire point should be higher than the working range of the machine so if the machine is working at 60 degree you have to select the oil whose flash and fire point is not below 60 degree, it should be above 60 degree. So that is the importance of finding out before using it in any kind of application which is especially involving high temperatures and then there is a risk of a source of flame at any point of time, you need to calculate the flash and fire point. I hope I hope you liked uh, the content and you are able to understand the fact uh, that there are certain properties of the lubricating oil which we need to estimate before using them appropriately in a machine. Thank you.